Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Chalice version 4, or Mark 4, uh, from Mark Bugs in Romania. This is a squonking RDA. This is squonking only. Uh, it's 18 millimeters in diameter. It's 130 euros from Mark Bugs in Romania. And you can actually go and buy this thing just now. It is a classic chalice for those of you that have had existing versions. Uh, this just brings it a bit more up to date. I'll give you all the spec and all the good stuff as we go along, but rather than me blethering away as always, I think we'll just go in for some close-ups. So here she is. She comes in this little wooden presentation box. Very pretty. Mark Bugs engraved here. Take that off and inside you're going to find one chalice. You will also find some spare o-rings in there and a couple of uh, grub screws for the terminals. Now, this is 18 millimetres in diameter, okay? 18 millimetres. Not including the drip tip or the 510, you are looking at 28.4 millimetres in height. The 510 on the bottom, that is uh, silver plated uh, and a 2 mil hex key and you can take that out and clean it up if you so desire. But no engravings or anything like that going on there. The only actual engraving you have is chalice 4 just on the side there. Drip tip comes with it and you've got like that uh, satin finish and just plain old stainless steel there and you can see that it does actually have quite a narrow bore to it. I'm saying narrow, it's actually what we would call normal back in the day. Uh, that's uh, 5mm in a diameter there but overall diameter is actually 9mm. But you can if you wish uh, take any old drip tip, 510 drip tip and it will fit on there no problem at all. Now the airflow up the top here, you're looking at 2.5mm uh, in height by 10mm across. Uh, but this is actually adjustable, but that reduces to a 3mm air hole down inside, but I'll show you that in a second. Uh, to adjust the airflow, uh, you basically you just spin this clockwise, and it'll just keep spinning and spinning. It's just that middle section here. Now the only issue I have with this, I'll cover as we go along, but uh, right, let's take her to bits. So, uh, you can unscrew the top section here, that comes off like so. This bit actually pulls off of here, you can see it's held on by an o-ring. So there's your airflow control here. You do have a spit back protection going on, you see that sitting there. And that just pops back on there. So the air comes in this hole here, out the bottom of there, and then shooting down here. Now, I'll just address this just now. This is one of my issues, is that uh, to adjust the airflow, so if I screw this back on here, it's when you have this on a device, it's actually really difficult to see how open or closed the airflow is visually. Uh, the only way I know to do it is that I know that, uh, where's it gone? The, the cutout here, that little tab there, I know that when I've got my airflow hole fully over, you know, in the middle there, I know it's fully open. And just by, you know, turning it, I can kind of roughly gauge how open it is by its position to this little tab here. So it's not the easiest to see or gauge or, or work out, but um, yeah, you can do it. But it is something that I consider to be just a little bit of a negative. So once again, the air goes shooting down here and you can see that, as I said, comes down there, you can see that there's actually a hole just inside there. So that's your 3mm hole and that's the size of your chamber, tiny little chamber. It really, really is small and that hole sits slap bang in front of the coils here. So there's your little locating cut out there, there's your tab there and you can see the hole is just going to sit bang right across from that. Uh, hopefully you can pick that up there but you can see that the actual deck uh, is sloped so that any excess juice is just going to pull into the middle there or get sucked back down. This is Mark Bugs and Squonkin, I mean these guys know what they're doing when it comes to squonkers. Now the holes in the terminals there, they're 2.5mm in diameter and they've updated the screws and whatnot on it so you have no, I've had no issues with cutting wire or anything like that. Now I've had many different builds in here now and yes you can put just, I've been using 27 gauge wire and I've even been, well I'll show you what I'm going to use just now. I just got these today, this is uh, from Coilology, uh, this is a 3mm inner diameter staple coil and it's coming at about 0 0.35 so we'll pop that in. 
when you put your coil in, uh, you know, you can have this pretty much anywhere you want. I would suggest just popping it. I have it, tend to have it just so that it's just sitting out over the hole just a little bit there. And as you can see here, it's just got standard screws here uh, and just screw them down and they tighten off quite the thing. I might have to move that one a bit. So there you go, you can see there's, I mean, like I said, that's a 3mm inner diameter coil. Now, I tend to, you know, I just have it so that the, the base of the coil's just above the lip of the deck here. It's just where I like it to be. And then we'll just pop some cotton in. Listen, this is no 22mm deck, so, you know, you're you're not going to get masses of cotton in here. And you are going to be squonking more than you would with a 22mm squonker. I just push my cotton down the sides there, make sure everything's tucked in. Make sure I'm still getting air underneath the coil. Now, one thing to point out, over squonking is uh, you'd have to be pretty talented to over squonk with this because look where your air hole is in relation to your deck. You know, you really have to go to town to make this over squonk. What I do find is that, you know, when you squonk, because there's that uh, slope in the deck, it is it's pulling all the juice back out basically so I tend to when I squonk I put my thumb in the, the bottle squonk and I hold it compressed for just a couple of seconds then let go and then I know that it's just saturated all that cotton and I'm good to go so that's me all back together and I'm ready to go and squonk now we're all back together and I've recorded my summary I've deleted it and I'm recording it again uh, I now have a 0 0.9 ohm coil in this and I'm at 20 watts and the short and sweet version to this is yes you can and, and as I said I've put many different types of coils in here you can vape really I mean it's got a restricted lung hit a slight restriction fully open what you would expect from a 3mm air hole you do get that and you can blow clouds with this thing you really can um, you can get a good old hit from it and it is quite impressive and that is mainly the way I have been vaping with it the problem is that uh, for me whilst I think this is going to appeal to more people in the way more people seem to vape these days the flavor is tremendous from this thing it's very very good um, I mean you've got the the air just smacking that coil and it's just it's good, it's got such a tiny little chamber and it's tick, 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 it's all good. But the only thing is if you're putting low resistance coils in this and you're about 30, 35 watts, then it's small. You know, it's a tiny little chamber and this thing gets hot. You don't notice it with the drip tip, but if you touch it, then you'll feel that it's getting really, really hot. So just to make clear, Yes, if you're interested in a, a lung hit, a restricted lung hit, with good flavour, then this works. It does it. It's very, very good in that front. But for me, uh, what really interests me is a chalice, and I want to have, you know, a more relaxed draw from it. Maybe, you know, as I said, I'm 0 0.9 ohm, I'm at 20 watts in this, and we'll, we'll give this a go. And it does it. It's the, the only thing that it doesn't do is that I find it hard to get this down to what you would call a, a anywhere close to a mouth to lung. I think it's tightest. I mean, you're still looking about 1.6, 1.7 air hole on it. It's, it's just a very, very restricted lung hit. It's not what I would call a proper mouth to lung. Uh, so I think for some people that come from the the older chalices, they might be a bit disappointed with this on that front, but I, I've got it down as tight as I can get it. But bear in mind that, you know, with that tight mouth to lung and whatnot, I, I'm just not, get, I'm not getting that intense chalice flavour that I'm used to from the old days. Or it just in my head, it doesn't seem quite as, as good as it used to be. I really think that this thing is aimed more at the the way more people seem to vape now, which is, you know, a bit more power and more air going through it. And I do think it is a good atty for those people that are looking for a more intensive flavour experience but want the air as well. 
The negatives, uh, the only negative I've got is adjusting the airflow as I described earlier on. It's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to figure out where it's open. Please make sure that if when you, you get it, pull off the AFC, put a little bit of e-liquid on that o-ring or it can get quite tight. Uh, when you squonk, I have no issues with it, it's a chalice, they, these guys know how to build a squonker. So I've opened the airflow back up, I'm at 23 watts in that coil now. And that's lovely, it really is nice. Um, Mark Bugs, the build quality is spot on, the finishing is perfect, um, it's everything you would expect from a chalice, just whilst I am enjoying vaping with it, um, and it will work with different coils, anything you want to throw in there, um, just remember if you're going higher wattage it gets hot, um, and it's maybe not what you old school folk from the chalice are maybe looking for it's aimed more at the you know folk with more air but the flavor's still there i'll shut up now once again i did get this free to review uh, as always to you guys thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you next time bye now this is 130 euros and that includes shipping 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 to you Charles, it's it's got a few upgrade <laughs> fucking Gita but a fucking <laughs> You old fart get on with it. I've used all of them. I've used all of them. All of them. And it is kind of more up to date with vaping the way it is now. I see the weed again, it's the weed again.